Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting one of my favorites. And that is... Bestial Putrefaction with Eternal Flesh Ripping Chaos on Sentient Ruin Laboratories. Bestial Gore Noise. I love the Gore Drenched Barbarism EP we're listening to now. The demo is amazing. And you gotta love this 12 inch compilation of Bestial Putrefaction first two demos. A horrifying 30 minute aural apocalypse of total bestial gore slash war noise, barbarism, and inhumanity. For fans of Revenge, Regurgitate, Carcass, Impentago, Death Worship, Piss Grave, it's gnarly. But we're here for a gnarly reason, because it's been one year already since my life-changing broken neck injury. I think on the six month anniversary, I took you folks down to the woods and showed you where everything happened and stuff. I haven't been back down since that day. And it's not because, you know, I'm scared to go down the woods or something. Like, there's, like, bad ener energy. Like, no. It's just... The kids around here are so lazy. Like, I ran into one of, uh, like, the younger kids that would actually, like, try and jump, like, the jumps. And I was like, hey, like, has anybody, you know maintained any of the jumps or like built anything new and he was like oh well we don't really know how so we just figured we wait for you and i was like dude like no like th i i can't like those days are over man like i physically am not like i'm not allowed to do that type of work anymore like Trust me, it fucking sucks. Like, I kind of had stuff figured out. I was kind of content with what I wanted to do. And then this happens. And, you know, it's one of those things you never think is going to happen in a million years. People always tell you, yeah, you're going to break your neck. Like, like yeah, whatever. Until it actually happens, like, luckily, I, you know, had started wearing a helmet once my nephew started showing actual interest in going to the skate park and shit. So, like, you know, he rides a certified Shadow Conspiracy helmet. I honestly thought I was wearing a certified Protec. I was not. And it still saved my life, but... I fractured my skull, and this is the scary shit. I had a skull fragment pressing against an artery in my brain to where they didn't know that, that they pretty much said, if we do surgery, you will die. Like, there's, like, no, like, we're not, like, it's way too risky. Like, we'll probably kill you. Like, legit, when somebody tells you that, you're just like... Especially when, you know, you can't you can't do anything. It's just like, well, at least I'm not paralyzed. That was the only thing I kept thinking about. But as soon as they started talking about surgeries, I started getting a little scared. Like, I really did. I was like, oh, my God. Like, no, no. 
But once, like, legit, the doctors were like, yo, like, nah, 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 we can't do this. I'm like, like I, I was legit so fucking stressed out. And then all of a sudden, it was like, thank you. Like, I mean, I don't know if they made the right decision. I'm just going off what I was told. And what I personally, like, for example, yo, like, this CD reissues coming out of Crown of Piss. And if you live in Europe, you can grab copies from Molten Face Records. Now, I recorded this shit in my neck brace, pulling it away from my throat. So, like, this is legit, like, agony that you're listening to when you listen to crap. Like, this was so painful. And I didn't say anything. I didn't complain. I just did my job. And as soon as everybody left, oh, my God, I dealt with it. And, you know, thank you to the state of Pennsylvania and their medical program for, uh, you know, medicinal marijuana. Absolutely life saver. Like, legit life saving shit. Because otherwise, like, I, I was already set up to fail. Like, I'm not stupid. I know how the system works. They legit and, uh, you know what? I'll tell you, folks. They sent me home with, I'm not even joking, no hospital bed and five, five 10 milligram Percocets. Now, for somebody that used to abuse opiates and even, you know, the gnarly shit to where I, I did die, like, uh, I have a broken neck, and no matter what, like, it's been a long time. I mean, because in the hospital, I remember, like, they gave me, like, morphine, and, like, I was like, this isn't doing anything, really. And they were like, it's like, uh, like, a hundred, and, like, once they told me, I was like, like, dude, I used to take, like, a thousand, like, fuck. I started realizing, like, even though, like, it's been a real long time here, like, it must be, like, in my head or something that, like, oh, you still have this, like, high tolerance for opiates. Because, like, legitimately, I have to thank my one cousin and a friend of mine because, like, I was waiting for my medical card and they, you know, really helped me out. And... Because I knew I was like, look, like this is not gonna, this is not going to cut it at all. Like I could take all five of these today, probably, and be still in pain. Like I don't want to take this shit. And like it's, it took until the twenty third to get like my medical card, and I started the process. A couple hours after the accident but renewing it I've been done for about a month almost like the day that I was allowed to get everything situated I jumped right on it the dispensary gave me um, the cheapest and really actually good doctor like he actually asked my non you know questions because i brought up like my injury and if he could look at my file and he had no problem doing this and this is somebody that's just pretty much taking your money and saying like yeah i got you you know you, you're good for another year don't worry like but like i legit was like look i can you look at my chart and like, if I was to get your opinion, like, because I still have not got a legit yes or no when it comes to physical therapy. This is me kind of 
fuck it. I'm, I going on. I, I can't really take this not doing shit stuff. That this is not how I ever lived my life. So, yeah. I really don't have a definitive yes or no when it comes to the physical therapy. So, the exercise bike, I'm cool with that. I am kind of sore today, but like, I realize there's no way I can walk to the Demi Litch show. I can't afford the public transportation. The venue's pretty far. Nobody I know wants to drive because it's not. It's this sucks. Like, but yeah, you because know, like I thought I was good. Like I, I have, I have the money because you can't get a ticket in advance for some reason. But like I have enough money for a ticket. But like I don't have you know. First off, I wouldn't take public transportation. Period. It's like over ten dollars right now and you have to go through an area i really don't feel comfortable going through like where i used to go to get that type of nonsense you have to go through there and i legit i do not like going through there to where i haven't been on public transportation since 2015 like I know I'm not going to get off that exit. I'm not stupid. Like, the stuff they have now is, like, just a bunch of nonsense. Back, at least when I was, like, you know, you would get unlucky. See, I had a distinct place I went to where I knew exactly what I was getting. The thing that killed me was just... Me being a fucking shot out piece of shit at the time and somebody's handing out testers. Yeah, I wasn't thinking and it did me in. Because I legit for like a couple months was just going to this one group of people that, lit, that I knew what I was getting. Like, I'll put it that way. Like, and they actually respected you as a customer as terrible as that sounds but they were running a business so you know you didn't have to really worry about like dying unless you know you wanted to be a savage about what you were doing but still fuck that shit just stick to you know smoking up and stuff but I love this tape, and I just love the fact that I can even do that, because at first, like, hearing your own neck break is the heaviest, but worst thing ever. <laughs> like, I went to stand up immediately, because, like, I just thought at first... I knocked all my teeth out and like broke my nose because if you look at the picture like my nose is like cut and like I, I did break like four or five teeth which I still haven't got fixed so, like some are like real fucked but uh yeah anyways like just gnarly stuff like even thinking like millimeters off from being dead from being paralyzed like just knowing that like as long as i work hard here i can ride my bike again and like actually like go to the skate park and like drop in i mean i know like the way my body right now like i won't be able to like I need to go to a legit big skate park like FDR where I can legit just carve a wall for like super far instead of like just having to like go up and go down because those days of like airing quarters are over. I, 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 I'm content with just cruising FDR 
you know, and like maybe slashing some coping every now and again, like, or, you know, just carving real high on like a vert wall. Like, I know it's still, I have one, like, legit one extra life left here. The doctor said, like, you hit your head one more time and you're done. Like, show's over. You're either going to be a vegetable or you're going to die. And again, like, this is the same doctor that told me I would never do, like, death metal vocals again. Like, I proved you wrong. I proved you wrong when I rode that mountain bike, said I would never be able to ride a bike again. Yeah, I can ride a bike, but I just don't feel comfortable yet enough to hop on a BMX bike is what I'm trying to say, you know? Like, because I know I'll be... That's why I ride that mountain bike, because I know... No, it's like, even if I was 100%, like, bunny hopping up a curb on this 60-pound steel piece of shit is gonna be hard. So, like, I just know, like, all right, just sit down and pedal. Like, where if I'm on my bike, it's like, oh, well, like, I could peg, like, dink off the curb, or, like, can I, like, you know, nose manual this island? Like, I, I can't be doing that shit. I have to just be chill. And it's legit hard for me to just be chill on a BMX bike. Like, I, I need to just, like, be on something that I know I can't, like, get loose on. Like, even at the skate park a couple of days ago with Cole, I got a 16-inch, and I brought it up on top of, like, the smallest quarter pipe at the skate park, and I... I was trying to show him how to drop in, and I was like, what am I doing? And I just gave him his bike back, and I was like, look, let's wait till we put pegs on, like, a regular bike, and I'll teach you how to, like, peg drop in. It's a lot easier. Like, I caught myself, because I was going to drop in on a 16-inch bike. No. Like, no. That would have been, that's so, that's so, such an easy way to loop out and fall on the back of your head. Like, I wasn't wearing a helmet. I just wasn't thinking. I was just like, oh, like, dude, you got it? Because he, he does. He was dropping in, like, off this, like, little sub box. So I was like, all right, if you could drop in off this sub box. A sub box is a embankment to, like, uh, a ledge. So, like, he was dropping off the ledge, like, into the bank. And then, like, jumping in this, like, pyramid. And then, like, hitting the quarter pipe opposite. And then, like, he had this whole, like, run figured out. But, like, I wasn't thinking. And, like, I was about to... I'm on this, like, little kid's, like, you know, like, bicycle. I'm getting ready to, like, drop in. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, and I just gave my bike... I gave the bike back to my nephew. I was like, oh, like... You know, like, let's do it next time. Like, I, and he was like, okay. Like, he was like, I was wondering. Like, like I don't think you should do that. Uh, like, yeah. Like, thanks, bud, man. Like, even he knew. He was like, oh, like, don't. No, like, you can wait. You waited a year. You can wait a little bit longer until you're. As, I just want to be able to feel comfortable. Like, I want to be able to look left again. I feel like Zoolander. I, I legit, I can't, I can't go left. Like, I have to turn my, like, my body turns. And it's so frustrating. And it's just, again, I know I shouldn't even be complaining. And I'm going to stop. But I'm just grateful to be alive. And I wanted to share that with some of you because I went through some miserable years of my life where I didn't feel this way. But now it's like, you know, like, yeah, I want to see Demi Lich and stuff, but it's not the end of the world. But I'm alive. I'm not paralyzed. I will ride again. It's just... 
I apologize for the way content has been over the last year. I know it hasn't been as gung-ho, fuck yeah, as normal for obvious reasons. Like, I went through a life-changing injury. You know, it's kind of hard to be stoked all the time, but... All that shit's gonna change soon, and, you know, I'm ready. Bring on the PT, like, I'm legit. I'm ready at least by the 4th of July. I would like to drop in on a six-foot quarter pipe. 4th of July, hopefully we can... Let's, you know what? Let's do this. That's a month, pretty much. So, maybe like July 1st. Let's aim for July 1st. FDR Skate Park. Or maybe Cole's local skate park. He might want to ride that with me. Like, and if that's the case, then... I'm cool with that, like, but I'd rather go to FDR. But anyways, Bestial Putrefaction! Come on, eternal flesh-ripping chaos. It doesn't get much gnarlier than this. Some bestial fucking war noise. Total gore. I love it, and as always, thanks for sticking with me, you guys and, and girls, fucking rule, anybody watching, 